Hey guys, it is Christmas time, so it's time for the magic content creators who need money to go get that bread. And how do they go get bread? Well, they need to buy from, or they need to sell to their consumers a product with very high margins. And Tolarian Community College found one perfectly. So what do you think he is trying to sell you? It's of course a cube. Now, the cube goes for $59.99, which might sound like a really good price for the cube, but it depends on what cards are in the cube itself. That being said, it is the official Card Kingdom cube, meaning that they're actually having a tournament to promote it. And, you know, what would be uh, a cube? What would be a Christmas gift without sending Tolarian Community College out to sell out the product, which it currently is sold out right now. Of course, they will produce more of it because the margins are very, very good. Now, I broke down the cube in terms of dollar cards over a dollar. We have Cavalier of Dawn, Mu Yang, Sanity Grinding, Grey Merchant, and Divinity of Pride. So in all the cards that are a dollar or more, there's only five of them. In the whole cube, there are five cards that are equivalent to a dollar. Um, there's 276 cards in this cube. They've called it the Luminaria cube. And sometimes, you know, what he does not want you to do is he does not want you to run some financial numbers, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so there's not many cards over a dollar. Are there many cards even over 50 cents? I mean, at some point in time, it can't just be bulk garbage, right? Now, I know what a lot of you will say, and this has been pointed out by Tolarian Community College. Hey, you know, it takes time to design the cube. It takes, you know what? Wizard of Coast is just going to copy this product, but there will be more value in it in a few months from now. You do realize that, right? So the introduction deck that Wizard of Coast has and the instruction cards, it seemed very similar to a challenger deck that Card Kingdom was trying to sell. They even named it the challenger deck, right? So here are cards over 50 cents. You have Finale of Glory, Winds of Abandon, Cavalier of Dawn, Blue, you have Visions of Beyond, Drowned Secrets, Mu Yang, Sanity Grind, and Mass Manipulation, Black Grey Merchant, Gef, uh, Villa, Dragon Master Outclass in red, Young Pyromancer. That's not a bad one. It's been reprinted. No, I think it's just not played. Undergrowth Champion, Vivian Champion of the something. Ashiok Dream Render, Rhythm of the Wild, Divinity of Pride. And then for Colorless, you have Gear Reach Sanctarium, Orant Reef the Vastwood, and Icon of Ancestry. So, I mean, the entire value of this cube, if you were to try to resell it, is under $4. Uh, so if you took out every card that was a dollar or more, and you buy listed the cards that could was over a dollar, because the cards that, if you buy list, if you went to buy list the cards out, you would get $4.50. So there's 256 cards, 20 mythics, 75 rares, which sounds like a lot, but they're literally just bulk. One foil per pack from outside the set. 24 booster packs. Entire set list is free to download, and you can buy now for $59.99. Yikes. Um, I'm sure Wizard of the Coast can mass produce a product far superior to this product, just like they mass produced those Challenger decks that made the bulk. Card Kingdom needs to sell you bulk. That's where the most money is at because they can buy bulk rares for like three cents, two cents a bulk rare. Mythics probably five cents, maybe ten cents, and then they can resell it to you for fifty nine ninety nine. So, yes, does Terlarian Community College get a kickback? Do you think? Do you think that the fact this product is sold out is good or bad for him financially? Do you think he gets a kickback from every single purchase? The answer is yes, and yes, and yes. 
Um, now, he is honest because he says, however, the set has been built largely from bulk rares, and while they may be a card or two that you could value in your collection, you're not getting anything of any significant worth here. So you give it a B+. Plus. <laughs> oh, man. He gave a con... I mean, I mean, you know how everyone, when they look at the commander decks, they're always so interested about expected value, or they look at a master set and they really want expected value. And so we're supposed to not care about expected value here when everyone's been trained to care about expected value in every single magic product. Just because it helps, uh, I guess it gives him a kickback. The expected value in this product is the worst I've ever seen. And trust me when I say this, Wizard of the Coast will absolutely make a better product than this very soon. There's no doubt in my mind that they look at this, they study it just like the Challenger deck, and they say, you know what, let's put some Chandras in there, let's put some uh, Heart of Kinrin, let's put in some land. I would heavily not suggest buying this. I would just wait a few months and then wait for the Wizard of Coast better version of it to come out. It is interesting. They made their own story and their own lore, and um, but it doesn't make any sense. Like Tolarian said, they basically made a master set without consulting Wizards of the Coast of bulk crappy cards they have a ton of. Wait till Wizard of the Coast makes their own cube version of this. It's going to be far superior, probably way more expensive, but you will get the value. That's one thing that Wizard of the Coast is very keen on, giving us secondary value. And yeah, uh, I think it is very good news for everyone. And because it is very good news for everyone that this is Wizard of the Coast is coming in the secondary market, Card Kingdom is not going to be able to sell its bulk anymore. Bulk has no utility. Bulk used to be useful for casual players because there was supposedly a limited amount of it. Now, it's just too much. I mean, you have even the bulk in collector's case is like foil. <laughs> Everything is foil or alternative art or some crazy thing like that. So yeah, um, some fun surprises. I wonder what that could be. Could that be the other $55 of value? So yes, each booster contains one foil. And it is possible the foil is, you know, a good card. But I highly doubt that. I, I really, really doubt that. Included are eight archetype draft cheat sheet sheets. I just don't think a big YouTuber should be promoting something like this for personal gain. When he knows that it's not very good. Um, at the end of the day, yes, a brand new Magic player, maybe they would be confused by this product. But no, uh, it is not a good product in terms of, it is one of the lowest expected value. Imagine like a Commander deck going for $60 and this is the Commander deck list. Do you think anyone would buy it? The answer is no. They would not buy this product. I mean, literally, this costs the price of two commander commander decks. You can buy for twenty bucks online. You could get free commander decks, free hundred cards, and be way better off than buying this. Anyway, I do understand the cube, but value is value. Bye, guys. <laughs>